today on How Not To, we break more ugly cave carabiners with John Fioroni. Welcome to another episode in the lab. We have lots more carabiners that have been in a cave too long. These came from our friend Hunter. He sent us a lot of cool stuff, including gold line, old rope that was in a cave for over 50 years, and some even worse carabiners than these. Uh, let's see what these all break at. Nano 22. It is rated for 21 kilonewtons. Six kilonewtons less than stated. So, John, what do we think just happened? I think the carabiner hit the garage door and left a, a little mark. So that is why we stand behind cover. Omega Pacific 31 kilonewton carabiner second sample. Notice the hanger, it was deformed by the last one. Stuff has been flying over here. We saw this from the last one, but what we didn't notice from a previous one was this is that Camp Nano nose that's just embedded in the styrofoam. Third Omega 31 kilonewton carabiner. This one, there's a chunk missing there. Twenty seven point seven. This is a black diamond pear shaped carabiner it is rated to 24 kilonewtons. There definitely is some bad stuff going on with the gate. It no longer locks. Not pretty. Shockingly, this was stronger than it was rated for. We tried to scrub it off and that's as good as we got. It is rated to 23 kilonewtons in the major axis. I would just like to point out that this hanger rated to 25 kilonewtons has been above that four times now and is still holding on. So, John, what kind of carabiner do you have there? These are half moons or semicircular quick links. These are designed for uh, caving harnesses. It's a Petzl D-Link, and it's rated to 15 kilonewtons in any direction and 20 kilonewtons in the major axis, which is across the length of the, the gate. So some viewers are going to say, hey, that doesn't look realistic. John, what do you have to say for that? <laughs> so this is a fairly realistic uh, setup. For a caving harness, the attachment points are at the, the two radius here, and then you would have a metal connector to a descender or your ascenders. So this is fairly realistic. So our, our spear man over here took a direct hit. I saw him swinging back and forth. Often it'll fail in the nose here, but that's still holding on. It failed here. It's, um, that, that might be permanent like that. Yeah, that's, that's really in there. And real star of the show is this Climtech 25 kilonewton hanger. It's been over its MBS five times. Carabiner graveyard. John, uh, any of that surprise you? 
Yeah, uh, we learned that beauty is only skin deep when it comes to carabiners. They all seem to retain most of their strength, even though they didn't look the greatest. So, John, is there a situation where you'd have to use a carabiner like that? It, it's pretty rare, but if you were doing a through trip on a cave that was already pre-rigged, you might come across something like this. Thankfully, most of the time we rig our caves ourselves and, and we won't find anything like that. So it's fun having Bobby and John break cave stuff in a lab, and we're gonna possibly work more with John on some cave basics. So if you are interested in caving, it'll show you how to find a grotto and what you need to know before you go into cave and a buying guide on just personal gear and maybe some of the nuances of the thing since he technically has extremegear.org with all sorts of cave stuff. So Hunter sent some homemade hangers, one of which was made normal, and it did break pretty good at 23 kilonewtons. But then these other janky homemade looking kind, the, just the shape tore the metal, and they broke pretty low. They would break at 7.15 kilonewtons, and then 10.73, and then the last one broke at 7.70. Now the forces you are putting on a hanger in a cave is usually under two because you're just repelling. You don't really want to lead climb with hangers that are gonna break at mm, the force you would put on them during a lead fall. Now mostly what people are concerned about is a super short bolt and some super crappy rock and the hanger not breaking but the bolt coming out. Now I haven't tested real bolts in real caves yet but I'm not too worried about hangers just randomly breaking on me. It's the rock. And then this weird titanium hanger is a perfect example that the hanger isn't always the issue. It's the fact that the bolt holding it to the rock is oddly skinny. And so when I replaced the skinny ass bolt with something that would go in my little square adapter, it did basically break at 9.74 at the bolt. The hanger has still more life in it. We are trying to break gear fear on this channel and hopefully we're doing that by showing things that break at more than the force you're gonna use them. But at the same time, it's nice when things are holistically strong and you don't just have some bomber hanger with a skinny ass bolt or a bomber bolted hanger and some crappy rock only this deep. So chances are you're not installing bolts in caves, but if you are going to trust your life to bolts, it is kind of nice to just skim through the bolting Bible, which we have on the website for free because I want you to know more about bolts than you do.